Okay. Well, I've finally gotten most of my project working, and now that I have, I think it's safe to explain that it's a Minesweeper clone, really, which I've dubbed Circuit Sweeper, since I'm using an FPGA board and, you know, it's really circuity stuff. So, to have a look at uh, what it kind of looks like, have a look at my uh, laptop screen here. <laughs> that's the basic block diagram of everything that's going on here. And from my earlier phases, I still have this mouse connected to the FPGA board, which is going to my TV screen. And on that TV screen, you'll see Circuit Sweeper, the amazing game invented by me, even though it's just a clone of an already existing game. So, as you can see, it's pretty much the same board as you'd see on any Windows computer. I have the uh, bomb count over here with my arrow pointer and the uh, reset button in the middle there with a the little happy face. <laughs> and it operates just as it does on a Windows machine. You click a square and it shows you the number of uh, bombs around that square. And then if you try to right click, it'll put a flag there. And then you can't accidentally click it with the uh, left click anymore. And as you put the flags down, the uh, bomb count up there decreases. And that's basically how it works. And you can go through and if you click a bomb then you can't click anything else because you've lost the game. Until you click the smiley face and load a new board and supposedly it's a random board that you load but usually get the same one twice in a row because there's only a few boards to choose from because they're really really difficult to make. But yeah. I'd say I've effectively made a Minesweeper game out of nothing but transistors. So, that's a success for me. <laughs>